morning, or should I say afternoon. Uh, we're just staying down here. Get some eBay packages sent out for the day before they close. I just got up, as you can probably tell. It's like 5 o'clock. The post office here closes at 5.30, so I think, I'll show you. I think there's only six to eight packages going out today, but I'll just start out down in the basement. This is all the old stock eBay. You can see all those guitar, you know, guitars, and there's a bunch of stuff around here. It's going to probably get donated. Um, we, we are looking into getting new, you know, another employee to uh, do the eBay side of things. But I think a lot of this stuff probably is going to get donated for the moment. But if let's get a little update on the Tides of America, showing the little Tide stuff. Here's what we got left. I think what, that was like, what, a week ago that we bought that? Or not even a week ago? Um, I think we sold about seven of them. I think we got like four of them going out today. Seven, seven to eight of them. We're in them for uh, 12 bucks a piece. Selling them for 55 shipped. Um, at the most, it's going to fit into a medium flat rate box, which is like 11 something. Uh, so we are shipping in priority, but they're mostly only, we can mostly ship in priority anywhere around here since we're in Indiana or kind of the middle. Usually costs about eight bucks to ship it. Um, still then 13% in fees. We're in them for 12 a piece. We'll just go with the 11 to ship it. That's what, 33 and 13% of the 55 is, heck, I don't know. We'll just go with uh, seven bucks. That's probably too much, but whatever, seven bucks. So we're in at uh, 40 bucks. Or uh, we're in at uh, oh, four bucks. What was it? <laughs> That's a take me a while. I just woke up too. So it was 12 plus the 11, which is 33. And we're going to go with the seven bucks, which is 40. So we're getting. 15 so we're profiting about 15 a piece on one after all the fees and all the shipping and like I said some of the shipping on cost about eight bucks And the fees aren't exactly that much But so we're getting over hundred percent on all of these and just for something that's kind of at the moment just sitting down there And they're easy to pack you just kind of grab one throw one because the boxes Medium flat rates are free and they're already made up the other box are already made up So you just grab one stick one in a box to lay a on and ship it So it's not actually too bad and they're selling pretty fast. I said we sold what seven in a week so far, so that's good So let's go ahead and uh Try to get that box out before seven. All right, so let's play what's in the uh, return eBay box. I had another one of these. We've had, we've only had one before on a, uh, I think it was a Cubs jersey that we sold like way, way before the even baseball season even started. So it wasn't like any of the World Series stuff. It was just a little profit item, but we've only had one thing that was returned to sender and we ended up getting it shipped back out. Which sucks on this is we can kind of fight it if he does give us the real address, but since we already shipped it once, he could technically open up a case with eBay and we have to sit there and fight it, you know, by saying, hey, look at the tracking number, it wasn't us, it was him, and make him pay for it, but then, you know, it's only another 10 bucks, and then by the end of the day, it's like, oh, your 10 bucks is 10 bucks. But it was the, it was a neat desk. We had, we bought a neat desk and sold one. Uh, we bought one from a pawn shop, I think, for, it was like a hundred and some dollars. Sold it for, I don't know, that would want for like 150 or 120 shipped or something you might see. I think it was like a hundred bucks plus $20 shipping. But apparently he didn't want it. All right, what's up, guys? It's been a few days since uh, it's a made a video. Hopefully you can see this, but uh, we, a little shaky. But we've been uh, we've been busy, and uh, and uh, my brother went away on a hunting tr hunting trip for like the last three or four days. So it, it kind of fell in a bad spot where you know it's quarter four. We were getting a payout, so we need to go get it done. But I think he's gonna leave a couple days early, so I'm gonna head down there right now. It's Sunday. I didn't do too much sourcing other than that. It's Sunday. It's 518 it's about I think it's about four hours away uh, I'm gonna try to hit some uh, Walmart stuff in the way up there seeing I'm not sure Target stuff on Sundays don't open till like 9 or something so I'll probably make it down there I don't know how many Walmart's I stop at before we get there Walmart Myers that is but uh, I'm bringing the laptop back there because I think we're gonna try to go down to Kentucky this time uh, if I do I'll go ahead and make a uh, post on the green room or somewhere see if anybody wants to come uh, come uh, hang out for a bit but uh, I'm gonna head out and just See them, so I'll get some gas. Got 90 miles gas and probably an energy drink or something. Not good for you, but good for me, I guess. Alright, so I guess I figured it out. I guess they had the little gas pump shut off because it's like five and there was nobody here, so they must have been in the back doing something or doing something. But got those, got this. Only gonna get 20 because usually you don't pay too much attention when I get gas. I just fill her up and whatever. I didn't, I didn't really see we had about like 80, 90 miles left on there, but 
Uh, so that 20 bucks, I guess, because I'm not sure how far it'll fill. But uh, let's get on the road here and see where we can stop. Oh, so the first day, I'm wearing pants. I've held out until now. Yesterday, I didn't really go out, but it was actually snowed yesterday pretty good and it was windy. But this morning, I finally had to break them out. I made a little pit stop here at uh, Rochester. Just got out of that Walmart there. Wasn't really much there. They usually have a pretty decent clearance section. They did have a couple things where they had a lot of. They had these battery chargers linked to like big or the power wheel things or something, but they had them for 20. But I think you only got like 27 after fees. It's like 11,000 on toys, which is a pretty good rank. But I know this place here does mark stuff down, so I think we'll wait a little bit because we do come up to this one quite often. And it'll be a little bit lower. And there's also some. Um, some uh, Wii, Wii games there that were just a little bit too high. If they were, you know, 10 bucks less, it'd be pretty good. Five bucks, might even just do it on five. But uh, still about three hours and like 30 minutes away from where, where I'm heading, which is way south of Indy. It's actually right by Louisville, Kentucky, which is why I'm kind of heading down there. But I thought I should take a little pit stop here just to see. I probably won't stop anywhere in Indy because we have been there two or three times. And it'd probably take all day if I drove around there stopping but uh, probably just gonna end up going straight there. Just pick me up just a little bit. Just got some fruit for right now because I'm not sure where the closest place is and I don't really feel like eating nothing nothing too much right now. I think I'll wait because I think I'll, like I said, I'll get there at 9, 10 o'clock and we'll figure something out there. All right, morning. It's cold out. It's the next day after uh, I drove up here. I didn't record much because uh, we just ended up kind of hanging out here. As I said, he, our brother was on a hunting trip and that's like the little cabin thing they stayed in there. We're in uh, Southern Indiana, like by Jasper, like Patoka Lake or something like that. And uh, so he was, there was down here with like four, no, I think it was like six, six or seven of them, plus me. So I don't want to, you know, be the one to just come down here randomly and pull out the camera and start videotaping and stuff. But we did end up hitting uh, a couple Walmarts, if you see, and eh, not too much. We only spent like like thousand bucks 1200 bucks or something like that total made a little bit of money but we hit the ones all around here but are pretty spaced out and all the roads are pretty curvy and stuff so uh it's a lot longer to get to all the walmart we are going to probably end up hitting kentucky today but we're probably not staying we're probably just going to end up getting later to, or going home later tonight i think it's like freezing i probably got crap too i ended up sleeping on the couch in there and it's like no heat in there as you can see it's like iced over it's like it was under 30 degrees but uh, let's kind of get more to start and see where we end up, I guess. All right, so we made it. We didn't make it to uh, Kentucky yet. Well, I don't know if we're in Kentucky or not. We're in some seaward town, I don't remember. But there's a Walmart along the way. We stopped that, picked up a few decent things. It took forever to check out because we had to have overrides like three different times from uh, back in the separate areas. But we stopped at this Goodwill here, Goodwill of Southern Indiana. And they have some pretty high priced stuff in there. I'm not sure what they were thinking. But this is not. I don't know if you guys know about any of these things, but these, uh, the. Uh, the, the villa wares but the villa wear this was 15. it's usually where decent money on amazon they're kind of high ranks like 200 000, 300 thousands but uh you always sell them you can sell them on ebay too and make decent money on them they always it takes a little while to sell sometimes but the funny part about this one is obviously they're older so you're gonna have box damage and stuff but this one you see is basically brand new so everything you're gonna sell it as new on amazon but it might be able to command a little bit of a higher asking price if we're willing to wait all right so we're at this walmart i think it was probably from my last video we always do real real good here we'll go around the corner and a clarence lego i don't know if you ever seen the clarence those legos in the galaxy squad I've never really seen them before but they also got he's like retired 30 foot it's like 90. those are like 90 and that whole real lego cast so ended up picking up the majority of them and so they cleared off that shelf because those are all you know you make 20 bucks there's a couple hobbits here those are like 150 dollars legos that's the first for us never seen a whole freaking shelf of like retired legos uh, you can see it's always uh that's the one where it always does good for us with the legos right in the train all right as you can see what the total was it was 1700 but the funny part it's all legos on we don't, trip, we don't triple our money on the ball, but we more than double our money. So we didn't expect to find all this at the first stop. And it's like Labor Day and it's like, what, like six o'clock? We thought we were gonna have a few more spots and we, you know, the Goodwill was closed. We, didn't, we thought they closed at five on Labor Day, but I guess not. But I guess coming here, then I guess it turned out to be a pretty good trip. So just got everything checked in from the Lego haul. Maybe I'll kind of show you a little bit off, closer up on the Legos, which we showed you most of it in the store. But the inventory lab for the Labor Day shipments. It's blurry. I don't got enough light in here. 
is that much. 3100 profit, total buy cost 2900, 8400. 